Balikan natin itong nas, ni, sinesend ni Sir Raymond Lucy na matagal nang sinend, 2018 pa. Pero gamit na gamit pa rin until now, of course, kasi basic math ito. In this video, you are going to learn, add, subtract, multiply, and divide unlike signs. At kung paano i-follow ang order of, of operations. At idagdag na rin natin ito, although pariho lang din, so idagdag lang din natin itong perform the indicated operations. Now, let's begin from here. Negative 10 plus 5. Negative 10, maraming nagkakamali nito. Plus 5. This is the same as 5 minus 10. Unlike signs. Unlike signs. So, mag-minus tayo. 10 minus 5, and that is 5. Ngayon, kopyahin yung sign na may malaking value, which is itong negative. So, this is negative 5. Ganun din dito. 5 minus 10. Si 5, wala siyang sign. Ibig sabihin, positive yan siya. So, unlike sign ulit. So, mag-minus ka. And that is 5. Kopyahin yung may mas malaking value, which is yung negative sign. Just in case magtanong kayo regarding dito sa 5 minus 10. This is the same as 5 plus negative 10. Pariho lang din yan siya. So, anyway, ang sagot dito sa una dito, Ang una dito ay negative 5. Sulat natin ang this is equals to negative 5. Next, negative 10 minus 5. This is the same as negative 10 plus negative 5. Pariho lang yan siya. So, the same ang sign niya. So, i-add mo 10 plus 5 that is 15 at kopyahin lang si negative na sign. Next, pariho lang din sila kasi itong dalawa pariho lang. So, this is negative 15. So, ang sagot dito ay negative 15. Next, multiplication. Unlike signs, negative 10 times 5, this is negative 50. Unlike signs, so negative. So, ang sagot dito ay negative 50. Division. Negative 10 divided by 5. Unlike signs, so this is negative 2. So this is negative 2. By the way, para sa mga nalilito nito, there are many ways para maalala nyo. Pwede nyo i-memorize or pwede ganito. Kapag addition, okay? Kapag addition, Unlike signs, mag-minus kayo. Minus. Or doon na tayo sa word na mag-subtract kayo kapag unlike signs. Kapag like signs, ma-positive man yan o ma-negative, mag-add kayo Tapos, copy nyo yung sign. Copy the sign. Kung negative yung, parehong negative, kopyahin mo yung negative. Kung parehong positive, for sure, kopyahin mo rin yung positive. Yan kung addition. Kapag subtraction. Kapag subtraction naman, kung unlike sign, example, A, B, Minus. Halimbawa, ito ay plus, ito ay minus. Mag-change ka muna ng sign. Magiging plus ito at magiging plus din dyan. Bali, yung opposite. Another example. Negative A minus positive B. Ngayon, ang opposite nito, so magiging Minus siya, magiging plus siya. So, same sign na siya. 
This is negative kung ano man yung number dito. Isa pang example, negative 10 minus 5. So obviously, this is the same as positive 5. Mag-change muna tayo ng sign. So magiging negative 5 yan siya. At itong subtraction natin ay magiging addition. Kaya ten, negative 10 my, plus negative 5, this is negative 15. Kaya yun yung nangyayari dito. Another example. Negative 10 minus negative 5. Always, it change muna yung opposite sign niya. Imbis na negative yan, maging positive. At of course, magiging addition si subtraction. Now, unlike sign na siya, so mag minus tayo. 10 minus 5, that is 5. At kopyahin yung sign na merong malaking value, which is itong 10. So, this is negative 5. Yan kung subtraction. Another example, negative 5 minus negative 10. So, itong subtraction natin ay magiging addition at yung negative sign ay magiging positive. Now, unlike sign na siya, so i-minus natin yan and that is 5 at kopyahin yung may malaking value which is yung 10, so positive 5. Another example, 5 minus 10, or this is the same as 5 minus positive 10. Again, it change muna natin yung sign from positive magiging negative at yung minus natin ay magiging addition. So, pariyo lang din. Unlike sign, so mag-minus tayo at kopyahin yung may malaking value, yung sign na may malaking value, which is negative. I hope by this time, alam nyo na kung paano yung addition at subtraction. Now, doon tayo sa multiplication at division. Ganun lang kadali sa multiplication at division kasi kapag, sulat muna natin, sa multiplication... Multiplication at yung division, kapag unlike signs, negative yan siya. Kapag like signs, always, always yan na positive. Pero maraming nalilito dito sa like signs kapag exponent na ang pag-uusapan. Iba naman yun. Kasi itong example negative 1 na may exponent na 2 or squared, negative 1 squared na nasa loob ng parenthesis itong negative 1, this is positive 1. Pero kapag negative 1 squared, ito lang kasi ang squared yung 1 lang kasi that is negative 1. Or isa pa, negative 1 squared, lahat sila nasa loob ng parenthesis. Pareho lang din naman yan. So this is negative 1. Iba ang exponent. Meron tayong law of exponent. So, proceed na tayo. I-delete muna natin ito. Next, this is negative 10 plus negative 5. Addition, like sign. So, mag-add tayo at kopyahin yung sign. So, this is equals to negative 15. Next, negative 10 minus negative 5. Subtraction tayo. So, change ang sign. Ang subtraction maging addition. Ang negative maging positive. Unlike sign. So, mag-subtract tayo. That is 5. Kopyahin yung sign na may malaking value, which is yung negative. So, this is negative 5. Next, negative 10 times. Negative 10 times negative 5. Same sign. So, this is positive 50. Or, this is 50. Next, negative 10 divided by negative 5. Same sign. So, positive 10 divided by 5. And that is 2. So, this is positive 2 or 2. Next, 
Pero bago natin isolve yan, tandaan ang order of operations. We always follow order of operations kapag yung operations ay more than one na siya. Operations are yung may parenthesis, itong subtraction, yung division, yung addition, at ano pang meron dito, multiplication, yan yung mga operations or itong exponent. Para hindi makalimutan ang order of operations, meron tayong acronyms. Tama ba yung pagpronounce ko? Acronyms. Okay. PEMDAS. GEMDAS. Meron ding BODMAS. Meron pang, ano pa ba yun? BEDMAS. Basta marami pang mga acronyms para hindi nyo lang makalimutan yung order of operations. Pero dahil sa mga acronyms na ito, marami pa rin nakakalimot sa order of operations. First, lahat naman tayo, for sure, wala nakakalimot dito, na unahin talaga ang nasa loob ng parenthesis, groupings, or brackets. Wala ding problema when it comes to exponent or orders. Yan yung next. Pero, dito maraming nagkakamali. When it comes to order of operations, itong multiplication and division, they rank equally. Kaya, we will solve them from left to right. Kung alin ang nauna. Kung ang nauna ang division, unahin yan. Kung nauna ang multiplication, unahin yan. Yan yung nasa order of operations. At itong pang-apat, marami ding nagkakamali when it comes to addition and subtraction. They also rank equally. Kaya we will solve them from left to right. Kung alin ang nauna. Kung nauna si addition, unahin yan. Kung nauna si subtraction, unahin yan. Yan yung nasa order of operations. Now, proceed na tayo dito. This is 7 minus 75 divided by yung nasa loob ng parenthesis. Okay. Yung kalubluuban ng parenthesis, yun yung unahin natin. This is 21. Si 21, yan yung i-add natin sa 4, and that is equals to 25. Ngayon, ibaba natin itong iba. So, this is 7 minus 75 divided by 25. Sa order of operations, unahin muna natin itong Division. Nasa step number 3 ito. Step number 1 ay parenthesis, groupings, brackets. Step number 2, yan yung exponent, orders, or indices. Kasi may acronym pa na BIDMAS. Yan. Step number 3 multiplication or division, whichever comes first, from left to right. At ganun din, yung step number four na addition or subtraction, whichever comes first, from left to right. So dito, uunahin natin yung division, step number three. 75 divided by 25, and that is 3. Bago tayo mag-subtract. So, 7 minus 3, this is equals to 4. Yun, iba pa rin kapag i-double check natin using scientific calculator. Tignan natin kung tama ba yung sagot natin. 7 minus 75 divided by yung nasa loob ng parenthesis. Okay? And the answer here is... Four. So, therefore, tama yung sagot natin. Next, dito tayo sa pangalawa. 8 minus 5, nasa loob ng parenthesis. Bago i-multiply natin ng 3 squared minus 5. Unahin yung nasa loob ng parenthesis. This is 3. Tapos, i-multiply natin dito sa 3 squared, or 3 times 3, that is equals to 9, minus 5. Next, multiplication first. Multiplication ang mas unahin natin dito sa subtraction. Okay, 3 
times 9, and that is 27. 27 minus 5 is equals to 22. I-double check ulit natin sa scientific calculator. Ngayon, dito na tayo sa scientific calculator. 5, tapos multiplied by 3, na may exponent na 2, minus 5. And the answer here is 22. So, tama tayo dito. Next, dito tayo sa 2, na may exponent na 5, plus yung nasa loob ng parenthesis, bago divide ng 4. Unahin ulit yung nasa loob ng parenthesis, and this is equals to 4. Pwede namang isolve natin yan, limang 2. Bali, 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. Ilan ba? Times 2 bago i-add. 2 times 2 equals 4 times 2 equals 8 times 2 equals 16 times 2 equals 32. So this is equals 2. This is 32. 32 plus 4 plus, ay itong, ibaba pa natin itong divided by 4. Again, unahin sa division kasi step number 3 yan siya. 4 divided by 4 equals 1. Bago i-add natin dito sa 32. 32 plus 1 and that is 33. Again, i-double check natin using scientific calculator. Scientific calculator. So, that is 2 na may exponent na 5. Okay? Then, ang next niya ay plus yung nasa loob ng parenthesis, 9 minus 5, tapos divided by 4. And the answer here is 33. Next, dito na tayo sa perform the indicated operation. Pariho lang naman ito sa first part ng video ito. So, I hope alam nyo na kung paano gawin ito. 7 plus 15, pariho lang namang positive ang lahat na, dyan, na yan. So, this is 22. Next, negative 9, negative 9 plus 14, unlike signs. So, mag-minus tayo and that is... 5 at kopyahin yung sign na may malaking value which is yung positive. So, this is 5. Next, 8 times 9 lang naman yan siya and that is 72. Next, like signs. Multiplication of like signs. Negative 6 times negative 9 Positive 54. So, this is 54. Next, 10 times negative 3 fifth. Obviously, unlike signs, so negative ang sagot dito. Now, in multiplying fraction, numerator to numerator. Ma'am, Paano naging, na, nasaan yung numerator sa 10, yung whole number? Ang lahat ng whole number mayroon yung denominator na 1. Kaya numerator to numerator, and that is 30 over 5. 30 over 5, and that is equals to negative, kopyahin pa rin si negative, negative 6. Another way na mas madali, 10 times negative 3 Fifth. Itong denominator na 5, pwede mo mang i-cross yan, i-divide na natin sa 10. 10 divided by 5 and that is 2. 2 times 3 is equals to 6 at yung negative sign. So, mas madali na siya. So, ang sagot sa number 5 ay negative 6. Paalala lang. Kung nandito kayo, ganito yung mga exercises nyo, as in parihong-parihong ganito, please lang, wag lang kopyahin yung sagot, kundi alamin kung paano natin yan sinagutan. Alamin yung process. Kasi kung kukopyahin mo lang para lang may maipasa kayo, or para lang makumplito yung assignment nyo, that will never help you. Wala kang matutunan dyan. 
Anyway, I hope after watching this video, meron at meron kayong natutunan sa video ito. Thank you.